All right, guys. Hello, back again. I have been stuck on building this part right here for quite some time now. Couldn't figure it out for the life of me. So, I finally figured it out. And just so everyone can see here what the hell I had to do to get this damn thing to work and for the mission to finally say that it was done. What you'll see here is I have one, two, three, four of these and they are all wired together and then wired to that part and then I have that one wired up to there too and then if you go over here I have this uh, relay dish or beam emitter whatever it's called that is plugged in to this this I got thrown up into into there and then I have this part going into that tiny little piece right there and you have this part that he's leaning on and I have two more generators right here and those are this one's hooked to that this is hooked over in the into uh over there okay it's hooked into there yeah and then i have another one going up there so i finished all of it could not figure it out because when i went into my uh, quest thing it would not pop up saying that i had completed it well so then i decided that i was going to put down another one of these just out of curiosity Put down one of those, and boom. Now we can get out of this. Let's go talk to Sturges. Hey Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Uh, yes. Yes I am, actually, because I have been stuck on this part forever. Shouldn't we test it first? I wish we could, but we've only got the one frequency code. There's no way to test it without actually jacking into the Institute signal. And as soon as we do that, We've used our one and only chance. As soon as the Institute figures out what we did, and I gotta believe those Brainiacs won't be caught napping twice, that code we've got is useless. Hmm. Well, that puts me in a pickle. I don't know what I want to do. Not ready, not ready yet. yet. Yeah, that's cool. I'll keep tuning this baby. Although we won't know if it's gonna work until we actually try it. Oh man, I don't know if I'm ready to go in there because I think I'm just going. I can't go anywhere else, right? It's 
Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Let's do this. Let's do this. Sure. Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then I fire her up and we see what happens. Just get on the platform. I'll do the rest. Okay. Okay, hold real still. I don't Holding. want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh, yeah. By the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry oh, about good. that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh... Just there for decoration. Okay. <laughs> okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And got it. Hold on to your butt. Whoa. Damn. Oh hell. It's the same. Huh. All right, what am I doing wrong? Okay, there we go. Hello. Oh. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. 
I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Okay. It's stuck. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong <clears throat> impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you That's about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific very personal reason. You are here for your son. Can't pick this. Need the key. Busted. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean. Is that really you? you Sean it's me I'm I'm your dad father what's going on what's happening Sean are you okay you're not hurt are you what's going on father father shh, shh, shh. it'll be okay Sean I'm here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father. Father, help me. There's someone here. Help me. Sean, please. Calm down. I'll get you out of there. Father? Father, help me. He's trying to take me. Father? Father, help me. Sean. S923, recall code... Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. Yeah. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects up. of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Father? That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... As you mean to your son. To Sean. Just 